Good morning, everybody. It's midnight and beyond. Welcome back to the world of Professor Layton and the Curious Village. We are here to finally show off our very first hidden door. For those of you who don't know, the hidden door is a series of super awesome bonus features that are accessible throughout the Professor Layton games. The way you access them is by simply playing through multiple games in the series. Throughout each game, you are given certain passwords that are accessible throughout different games. So we got a password in the end of our Curious Village Let's Play, but there were no other latent games that we had accessible to us to try them on. So we weren't able to do anything with them. However, since we just finished the Let's Play Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box, we now have a password from that game that we could put into this game. And then after that, we could jump back into that game with the password we got from this game back when we Let's Play this game last year. So I'm here to show off both of those rewards right here and now. So I hope you enjoy the secrets that are going to be shown to us throughout time and space in different games and different uh, years and everything like that. I absolutely love this secret. I love this feature. This is my by far one of my favorite extra features that is in any video game series ever. Whenever a game has like things that go from one game to another one, it takes you outside of the game into like the physical world. I absolutely love it, so I'm really excited to show this off to you. Let's see here, we have Jeffrey! Jeffrey and Jeffrey. Let's go with lowercase Jeffrey, because that's the one we did the LP with. And this one has not had the hidden door opened yet in this save file, so let's go to top secret. And access the hidden door. Enter the password, which you can find in the sequel to this game. For more information, please refer to the instruction booklet. In Professor Layton in the Diabolical Box, we fi we found this password. I'm not sure if it's the same password throughout every single game. So if my password doesn't work for your game, you're going to have to do this yourself. Sorry, but no shortcuts in this because this is a secret only for the best of the best puzzle solvers. Let's just go ahead and show off the reward for it, though. So my password is... I typed it wrong as I was exiting the other game. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, so much for being the best of the best puzzle solvers if I wind up messing that up right at the sinking end of the LP, but let's try this again. My code is 1E. 5C 8E 8D Ah! Wow, I've avoided talking about it throughout the Diabolical Box LP, but my god, looking at the quality jump between Curious Village and Diabolical Box after uh, playing the sequel game, then jumping back to this one, it's really jarring. Like, look at these stinking portraits. Layton was always, was like, Always facing forward, and then Luke just looks... weird. This is the part of our production where we finally show you how we came to be! Hurrah! Indeed. From here, you could take a peek into the process of how we went from page to the screen. It's only a fraction of the material created for the game, but we do so hope you enjoy it. Presenting concept art from Professor Layton in the Curious Village. And before we advance, you might notice at the other screen, there is another secret code. We're going to want to make sure to jot that down before we advance any further. Okay, without further ado, let's go ahead and look at this concept art. So, Professor Layton was originally going to look very different. He had a different hat and hairstyle outfit and everything. Like, he looked very, very different originally. When they got the design more ironed out, he had, like, bulging eyes instead of his little dot eyes. He had an owl at one point. Then he had, like, a very small chin before... Also, like, that other dude, that was supposed to be Layton? Uh, no thanks. I think they nailed the design perfectly in the final one. Luke was supposed to look either a lot dorkier or a lot uh, more persnickety, kind of like an elf or like a frog. Uh, again, I think they nailed it with the final design. Uh, we have 
uh, some characters from Curious Village whose names I cannot remember, just the Reinhold family, at least they showed me that, but like I can't for the life of me remember their names. I think one of them's name is Ramon, but like I have no idea who. I know this guy's like the guy who's looking for true love and all that jazz, and the guy who got put in the body bag. The Leighton Mobile had a very funny design originally, it was like a little golf cart and they just like barely fit in it. Uh, Flora and Bruno, I guess that was, Bruno's the guy who, like the trash can head who was uh, repairing all the robots. That was supposed to be Flora's original disguise, I guess. That's kind of weird. Uh, Saint Mystere, more or less the same, a bit more blocky though. I do recognize those characters though. Kind of nice to see old faces again. Layton's figure. Apparently there was supposed to be a Brazilian figurine released at some point. I don't know if it ever did, but that's what it was going to look like. The original Funko. And Layton and Luke. Uh, again, not entirely ironed out yet, but they fixed it in the final release. Like his purple pants. We'd sure like to show you more, but sadly this is all we have for you this time. We look forward to seeing you at the next adventure in the Professor Layton series. So, that is our reward for using the code we got from Diabolical Box. But we got another code as well, so we should probably put that into Diabolical Box, wouldn't you say? So, let's go ahead and jump over to that game and see what that reward is. Real quick, I always love this feature that shows up on the uh, file select screen or the game select screen, I guess. But um, the Curious Village icon has this little pixelated latent spray. It's just him like with a neutral face. But uh, when we go over to Diabolical Box... He has a smiling face now. It's the smiling latent pixel sprite. So it's kind of cool to see the little changes that happen in the sprites as the game progresses as well. It's another little detail that I like uh, seeing as I play the new games. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and return to Diabolical Box. Oh. 